this is Merritt Trainboy speaking, and this is part two of my recent video that you might have watched. It shows what I bought from the Rocky Mountain Toy Train Show at the Denver Mart this year. And this time, there's a lot to get through, so let's get started. First, here's something that I first bought, and it cost me $16.99. It's a pack of Trackmaster Flexi Track that can help you get through a difficult situation to a Trackmaster playset and also can work like a snake. Next, here's a Trackmaster engine that the seller told me the look of it is getting hard to find. And it cost me $16. It's a Trackmaster Renes with a blue caboose. And it's in this early Trackmaster packaging. Although you see, I already have a Trackmaster Renes, but I was getting another one to make a homemade Trackmaster Delgon, one of the Italian engines. And as you can see, uh, the packaging uh, looks really damaged, and I think it's because they were moving these items to different sales stands. Now here is something else that I was trying to get my hands on. It's the 2013 version of the Wind Railway Battery Power Thomas that cost me $25. You see, I'm going to be saving this for an upcoming review that I'm going to do. Stay tuned for details on that. Next up are two Thomas books, and each of them cost one dollar. The books are Diesel 10 Means Trouble and The Monster Under the Shed. Back to the more exciting stuff now. And this one is a Bachman Tar Tanker. It cost me $12, and it's in this old style packaging. Then I also have, uh, along with the same lines, a Bachman Edward that cost me $60. And you can see it's in the newer style packaging. Next here is something which was still there this year, and it's a Minton Box. This is the Take and Play Thomas and the Summer Festival. It cost it $6. It features a firework banner Thomas and a flatbed with a firework crate that lights up. You see here the Thomas in this pack. I already have a Thomas like it, but it did not come with a flatbed with a firework crate. So I'll have to do something with it since the other one that I bought is in good condition. Next is something that you might remember seeing, and this is one of the cute Thomas models uh, for my collection. This is the uh, Wooden Railway Early Engineers Thomas model. As you can see, the Early Engineers Thomas is bigger than the regular Thomas next to it. Although both of them do have the same style coupling. Now here is a Thomas and Friends video that I got for about four dollars. I can't remember how much it cost me. This is Thomas's Trackside Tunes, which has a brilliant selection of Cinelon songs plus some episodes and has a runtime of thirty four minutes. And finally here is a Tommy Shed that I got for two dollars. But not only that, I also got another Tommy Shed, and they've both added up to $4. Although uh, one of them seems to have uh, a piece which is too far wide uh, to the roof, but it's still alright. 
That's all the items that I bought for the Toy Train Show this year. And stay tuned for some new Thomas and Friends remakes that I'll be doing. Thanks for watching and goodbye.